Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing an example conversion on a little generator. It's a Honda inverter, uh, the EU1000i. And today we'll be doing a propane conversion on this one. And if you're interested in seeing the video, you can go to www.pngtechnologies.com or you can reach us at 734-992-2648 and we'll get started on this one here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here is get access to the engine compartment. So we'll remove the cover here. Set that off to the side. What we're gonna do first is install the gasoline shutoff valve on this, okay? Cause there is no shutoff valve. The gasoline will continuously run when you're doing the propane. So we put a shutoff valve in here and this will allow you to turn your gasoline off when you're running propane or if you want to run gasoline again you just shut your propane off come in and turn this back on and you got it so we'll start that step okay what we're going to do here is start removing the nuts on the air clean box we don't have to remove any of this over here okay so we'll just get this off here And it's basically just a little boot over the intake here and your there's a little rubber uh, adapter here you just pull that and slide that right with it it's hung up on here there we go okay just pull that it'll come off your little tube here pull this off here set that to the side and your gasoline shutoff valve, or the shutoff, is going to be right here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll remove the gas hose from it, pull that down so we got it, okay? And then we're going to hold with the pliers here back on this side, okay? Let's get this out of the way. Grab it back here. And then you're just going to slide this up in there. Okay. Real simple little setup. And just pull your clamp back down. Okay. Feed this around. And then you'll probably have to pull the gasoline carb out a little bit here, which is easy to do. Slide this on there. And that's a good hose barb on there, so you don't really need a clamp on that one there. So now you got access where you can shut your fuel on and off. Okay, now that we've got the gasoline shutoff valve installed, you can see that there, okay? Where you're going to install the slim adapter here. What we're gonna do is, because the adapter's a little thicker, we, you gotta remove this gasket here. We don't want you to tear that up. Get you some vice grips on here. Lock it down up, not on the threads, but back on the uh, stud part back there. Clamp it down. Turn it out about three turns. That gives you enough space so when we install our adapter on there, we can install our nuts back on. So go ahead and put your gasket back on, okay? This will all come pre-assembled for you, this adapter here with the hose, everything on it. So we'll just slide this on here, okay? Tuck that back in there. This will be a later install on that hose down here. So, okay, you got that. Go ahead and install your gasket back on, okay? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reattach this back, okay? So let's get our hose out here. Go ahead and put your hose back on, okay? Get this back up here. Make sure your boot slid on back up here on the top. Okay, it's all up on there. Go ahead and put, oops, put our nuts back on here. Okay, 
Okay, we'll get this one on here. Tighten that down. And the adapter's installed. Okay, now that we have everything installed inside, what we're going to do now is install a bulkhead fitting. And that'll be this unit right here, okay? what we're the reason we use this is is because most people will just drill a hole and have the hose go into the adapter but if it ever gets caught on anything it'll break it out or pull something on the unit so what we do is we'll install this bulkhead fitting here and how we're going to do that is we're going to reopen the door back here again i figured a spot on here i'll show you the inside better but this will end up being mounted in here and then we'll lock this down so Let's just take the cover back off, okay? Get back to your access, and this is why this hose was left, because we're gonna end up connecting it to the inside. So if you look at this door on the inside, okay? You're on this side over here. What I chose is there are ridges in here, okay? One, two, three, the third one up, which is the, or the second, the biggest one or the middle of these here. We're gonna drill that out to three quarters of an inch. Okay, now I use this here, okay? If you have a hole saw, you can use that. So we'll go ahead and get this where we can drill this out here, if I can show you. It's, real, it's plastic, so it's real easy to do. Let's see if that's big enough there. Just a little bit more. right there okay so what we're simply going to do here is go ahead and this is going to be on the inside okay we got a block washer and a nut okay now on the inside of this when this opens what i did is i'll show you on the inside when i do it but i'll I'm going to pitch this up a little bit, just like that. So if you're looking at it like this, you're 930, 10-ish, right in that area. So let's go ahead and lock these down now. Okay, now that we got our bulkhead installed on here, we can go ahead and hook up our hose. Now what we do is we kind of make this a little bit longer here, so you can route it around so it doesn't kink. So go ahead and get your clamp on the end of your hose here. Kind of keep it twisted up like that, and then go ahead and slide her on. Alrighty, go ahead and clamp that down. Alright, this makes it nice still, because you got access to your oil still you can still check that fill it whatever you got to do and this will allow you to take the door to the side set it to the side if you want and it's to prevent you from having someone if it ever gets stepped or pulled on you don't have to worry about it pulling on the adapter so just kind of feed that around there lock that on there set that in just look at it make sure it ain't key you're in good shape Go ahead and screw your cover down. And that's that step. step. It's as simple as that. Okay, now that we've got all our assembly done in here, what we're going to do is you'll also get this set up here. This is your regulator assembly. You'll get your POL connection here, along with your high pressure regulator, your low pressure regulator. And we'll just mount that right to the tank here. And we give you enough hose if you want to hook up to a 100-pounder, you can. So go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, that's 
down and hook up the propane hose to your bulkhead assembly here. You don't need no pipe though, it's a flare fitting, so it's three quarter inch if you don't have a presser. That's that setup right there. It's real simple and like I said, you can stand a hundred pounder up if you wanted to. So that's that connection. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set our power adjustment here. Um, that's your load block. Uh, in is lean, out is rich. We set them here as close as possible, but you will have a little adjustment there. But you can feather it by keeping it running with the primer button until uh, you get that set and that'll help you get it. So what we'll do is we're turning our propane on. Okay, make sure we're loose here so we can adjust it as we're feathering it. So turn our switch, there's, we got that on here and let's give it a shot. Okay, we'll shoot it some fuel. You might have to feather, keep it going. Okay. Let's try this again. See, I'm feathering and keeping it going with the driver. So we find a smooth spot. There you go. Okay, we found a smooth spot. Now let's take the Evo throttle off, make sure it'll idle good. Burn real good there. Yeah, that sounds good. Right there. Okay, we'll go back upstairs. Okay, now that we finished the propane installation on the Honda EU1000i, if you're interested in purchasing the kit for that, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com. On the home page, look for Honda, click on Honda and scroll down till you see the kit and there'll be a video there also. So we appreciate you watching this video and we hope this helps out. Thank you very much.